to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet the Bartown Bourbon Company has shared their <laughs> Oh, what a reveal. <laughs> high wheat bourbon. Yeah, so it's 53% corn, 39% wheat, and 8% malted barley. This is again a part of their origin series, so this is six years old and it is 100% of their own distillate. Sorry for the noise. Oh, you're fine. Should have obviously done this beforehand. I'd like to watch the struggle. It's real. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. It's a whole. It's a whole thing. Look at the marketing. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's a tiny bottle. It's just that's a, a lot going on there. Um. Okay, someone will clean that up later, and it won't be me. So we know their origin series, their existing line, which came out last year, early last year, I believe, 2023. It's their origin rye bourbon, their origin wheat bourbon, and then their origin rye whiskey, which is finished in their like zebra barrels. So this is the high wheat. So it's even more more of a percentage of wheat than their weeded bourbon. Right, that weeded bourbon is also at 100 proof and this one's at 106, 106. that's right. A uh, 49.99 MSRP, which we'd love to see it for a six year product at 106 proof coming from their distillery. And again, it's for a full 750 milliliter bottle. This is just, just a, a sample. little 200 mil sampler. Yeah. yeah, but again, 50 bucks. I mean, their origin series has all been priced pretty much around that. The, price point, the other, rye being higher. The other weeder is 49.99. So okay. same price as the 100 proof, lower wheat bourbon. Interesting, okay. Oh, I do, I do like what? that nose. What? I mean, it is very sweet, corn forward light. But also like a caramel candy yeah, kind of underneath there. Definitely caramel candy or like, it caramel reminds corn? me of- corn? I was gonna say smacks, sugar smacks. It smells like it's got a bit of cereal in it, but like sweet syrupy, uh, high fructose corn syrup cereal, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's the the, uh, the stuff with the, the treat at the bottom of the, it's not Apple Jacks, it's a- uh, Cracker Jacks. Cracker Jacks, yeah, thank, thank you, wow. Kind of a Cracker Jack smell. Mm, I see that, which makes a lot of sense because it is such high corn. Is there a 53 anything corn at the bottom of it there now? There is not. I want a Dakota ring. All right, well, pretty much what you'd expect. Good nose. As far as the nose, yeah. To your health. Oh, it's so soft at the front of the palate. It is. But packing 100 proof punch. 106 proof. Uh, so even more. Even more. Mmm. <laughs> Desserty, wow. light, approachable palate, but with a little bit of intensity just from that proof. It's almost like Pop Rocks intensity. There's a, there's a... Uh, I think you just associate Bardstown Bourbon Company with Pop Rocks. Because of that, there was an event, if you don't know, where they paired it with Pop Rocks. Maybe so. Yeah, it's probably better off on a, on a second sip. All right, I'm gonna take a second sip here in a second. Well, while we wait, I'll go ahead and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the matching t-shirt and hat that I'm wearing. Sarah, the t-shirt that you were wearing now is back in stock as well. And this combo, 24 hour flash sale, 15% off. So if you're watching this from Whoa. when this was published until 24 hours afterwards, you can get 15% off either this t-shirt, Drink More Bourbon t-shirt, or Drink More Bourbon cap. Uh, all of our glassware, Glen Cairns, we're drinking from our Elemental Elixir cocktail syrup, bottle cut candles, and more that's always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbonite and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that's where, depending on your tier, you get access to all the time discounts on our merch. Right. Uh, you get access to our barrel picks, exclusive content with us after the episode, and more. Okay, that all important second sip. We are now acclimated to it. It's got a lot of body, but it's still soft. And it, the mouthfeel is really uh, nice and gentle and... There's an underlying darkness there, and I think I finally figured it out. It's almost like a tobacco leaf, mm. which for a six-year product, you would not kind of um, you know, not, connect not, those two. Yeah, not something you would necessarily expect. I'm getting more like a sweet oak. I could see that as well, yeah. And there, there's very much like a candied note, like, Candy caramel or caramel candy, like you said before, I don't know. And then with a little bit of delicate oak behind there. And it, it's just like warm and soft and it just has this like really full, I don't know, it's like full bodied, but it's soft and easy and approachable. But then that 106 proof comes in towards the finish and like dials it up. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know this is a short and sweet, so price is like not really the point of, we're not doing a thumbs up or thumbs down. It's not really the point of this episode, but I am just consistently impressed with what they put out for that price point in such a widely available series, the Origin series. Right, and I'm gonna have to go back and taste the others. I know we really liked the the 100 proof Weeder, but I remember when we 
originally had those first three of the Origin series thinking these don't taste like other six years or other 96 proofers or 100 proofers or whatever that are out there. It's not, you know, it's like, oh, well, you could also get this flavor at Buffalo Trace or Wild Turkey or Four Roses or whatever it may be. And the same thing with this one. And not only is it a different ballpark of a mm. flavor profile, but it's not even similar to their own origin line. Like it's very separate in hmm. that as well. So interesting. Now that there's four expressions in oh. here, I feel like there's something for everyone and maybe an eventual flight fight. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps a flight fight. Hmm. It's interesting. Yeah, it'd be hard to say, like not necessarily a flight fight of like, which one's the best value or whatever. I would just genuinely like to know blind if I was gonna recommend one bottle from the series to our viewers, what would I recommend? Off the top of my head, I can't think of it. I'd like to know right. completely blind what yeah. it would be. I, I, th I think just anecdotally, I think it would be the rye whiskey or the 100 proof weeder. And that's before introducing this one into the mix. So now, now yeah, it's hard I, to say. I, I don't know. I don't wanna say minty, but there's this like really not a burn either. It's just this like, I can breathe a little bit deeper on the finish mm -hmm. um, or I really feel it in my chest. But I guess that's just the 106 proof. But I just don't feel like that normally gets me so much. Right. Yeah. I don't well, know. One that we're definitely gonna have to revisit and continue continue to visit. Oh, I will happily continue to visit this one. <laughs> there we go. We finished filming the episode uh, and then saw there's a button down here, which is oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Whoa! It just says it once. Uh, yeah. Uh, per click. So. There Whoa. you go. Cool box. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Well, hey, if you haven't subscribed us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here, and we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Barstown Bourbon Company. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.